What is up, F.E. Clan? Welcome back to another video on the channel, Mr. F.E. Today we're going to be finding out which gel blaster is the best gel blaster in America between Amazon's top gel blaster and the Surge gel blaster. Both gel blasters will be rated 1 through 10 based on their accuracy, pain level, distance of firing, and their fire rate. But before we get into the video guys, I want to talk about a few gel blasters that I bought in my first video, Amazon's top 5 gel blasters that really didn't end up being a good deal. This one right here is a Desert Eagle with the Gravity Feed Hopper on top. Now this gel blaster was actually my number one pick in my first video. And the reason that I do not like it anymore is because after the first month or so, it stopped working. It literally would not fire. I charged the batteries, I tried different batteries, I bought new batteries, but now it's at the bottom of the list because it no longer works. And gel blaster number two, that is not worth it to buy. To me anyway, you guys decide what you wanna do on your own time with your own money. I bought this gel blaster on Amazon. It was also one of my top picks in my first video for Amazon's top five gel blasters. This gun fired with semi-automatic and automatic firing, but this plastic tube came dislodged. Somehow, some way, it became very loose well, now that those issues are out of the way and I let you know after several months of owning the gel blasters, which ones actually ended up failing and which ones ended up being the best, now you know. Our paper target kept falling over because it's windy out here, go figure. So instead of that, we're going to paint a target on this piece of plywood so that it doesn't fall over and it gives us a bigger target to hit. So let's go ahead and test the accuracy on our first gel blaster. Okay, this is blaster number one, the third gel blaster. Okay, so this button right here, you press the mode button and it changes it to semi-automatic. Semi-automatic is one shot at a time per trigger pull. So this is 10 feet away from the target. Let's see how accurate we are. All right, so it looks like he's hitting the middle of the target every single time. We are now 15 feet away from the target, still on semi-automatic and it is staying within this first circle here. We are now 25, maybe even 30 feet away. Oh wow, and this thing is still hitting. Okay, I see a couple of shots on the second circle, a couple of shots on the second circle, but most of them are still hitting inside that first circle and on the bullseye there. Very beautiful, 25 feet away. Actually, I think this may be even further. I'm gonna get my measuring tape and see how far away he actually is. All right. I've got a hundred foot measuring tape and I'm gonna have him hold on to that. And we're gonna see how far away he actually is. 34 feet away, we're still hitting inside that second circle, which is an amazing accuracy for a gel blaster that is fully electronic. This thing is only running on battery. All right, this is the Amazon AKM 47, which is in two of my previous videos. Uh, this thing only shoots in automatic and we're gonna start from 10 feet. We left the tape measure out so we can accurately do this guys. So from 10 feet away, fully automatic. Let's see how accurate this bad boy is. Fire, oh yeah, all bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. Okay, okay, 15 feet away. And as you can see, this thing is hitting basically the bullseye black dot. It's hitting a couple of spots around it. He's at 35 feet. Let it rip, let it rip, fully automatic. And we're still hitting on the inside of this uh, circle right here and the second circle. A couple of them are hitting on the outer rim there. It's time for the pain test and we're gonna start with the Surge Gel Blaster. Today my nine year old son is gonna be getting shot from 20 feet and 30 feet away and he will give us the honest opinion of which one hurts the most. All right, here we are at 20 feet away. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Here we are at 30 feet away, and we know that we can hit them from here because of the accuracy test. Let's see if it's uh, still painful from 30 feet away. We're 20 feet away with the AKM-47 gel blaster from Amazon firing. We are now 30 feet away from the target with the AKM-47 gel blaster. Three, 
two, one, firing. All right, so we've got some red spots, maybe even a little bit of swelling on the back there. All right, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank you for being such a brave, brave man here, uh, taking these gel beads like a champ. So tell me the first gel blaster or the second gel blaster, which one hurt worse? Um, the second. The second gel blaster hurt yeah. more? So the AKM-47 from 20 feet and from 30 feet? Yes. Like 100%, it hurt yes. more. So there it is, folks. We have the AKM-47 gel blaster. He says hurt the most. Now I'm gonna get shot by both gel blasters just to confirm what he's saying. Uh, here we are, we're 20 feet away from each other right now. And I'm actually gonna be getting shot on my back without any clothing protecting me. Oh, oh, uh, okay, all right, okay. Okay, we are now at 30 feet. Ah, 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 god damn it, okay, okay. Okay, we are now 20 feet away with the Surge Gel Blaster. Ah, yeah, woo! 30 feet away, ready. Oh, okay, oh, all right, woo! The AKM-47. I confirm is definitely a more powerful uh, firing gel blaster. Keep in mind both of these gel blasters were fully charged before I started this video. Our next test is to see how far these blasters can actually fire. Basically we are going to start from 30 feet which we know we can hit the target very accurately from and we're going to move back steadily from 30 feet until we cannot hit the target anymore consistently and then that is what we're going to call the distance of the blaster. All right, we're still consistently hitting. It looks like he's about 40 feet away now. All right, we're still hitting the target, still hitting the target. All right, stop. That's, that's gonna be it. Surge Gel Blaster is firing accurately um, and hitting the plywood up to 56 feet. Woo, that thing is powerful, I'll tell you what. Oh, the, the beads are actually breaking and splattering back at me right now. Wow, he's at like 40 feet. Whoa, whoa, you're hitting me. We're gonna stop you right there. It looks literally, it looks like he stopped at the same exact spot. Exactly 56 feet. To me, it looks like these gel blasters max out at 56 feet and you're probably not gonna be able to go past 56 feet and um, be able to fire accurately. The very next test and the last test is gonna be the firing rate. So how fast are these uh, blasters actually firing? Now, I don't have a way to see how many gel beads per second these are actually shooting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill each hopper up with ammo and each hopper is the same size and holds the same amount of ammo. And then we're gonna put them on fully automatic and we're gonna fire and see which one empties the hopper first. And that is how we're gonna tell which one has a faster firing rate. We've got our gel blasters filled up to the rim. I'm gonna fire one, he's gonna fire one. We're both gonna start at the same exact time and shoot at this target. It doesn't matter how far away because all we're doing is testing the firing rate. Before you watch this part, leave a comment down below which one of these blasters you think is gonna empty the hopper first. And then after it's done, you can see if you guess correctly or not. Okay, we're just about to begin our test, but first I figured we would give a guess on which one's going to empty first. I chose the AKM-47 because I believe this one's going to fire faster. It just sounds faster to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I vote for the Surge. He votes for the Surge Gel Blaster. Why do you think that one is going to fire quicker than this one? Well, because it fires really freaking fast and it um, sometimes fires three at a time. One, two, three. There are a lot of gel beads inside of this hopper. And I've never actually emptied a hopper before. This thing is literally firing so quickly. I am a third of the way done with my hopper. It looks like he's a third of the way done with his hopper. Wow. Wow. Why are you stopping? Oh, 
All right. Oh my gosh. Wow. He's halfway done and I'm three quarters of the way done. This thing is so consistent. So consistent. Amazing. 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 I am done. I am done. We're going to have him keep firing, keep firing. We're going to have him keep firing and see how long it takes his to empty out until it's actually done. He's only got about 50 more. He's got about maybe 10 more. There's like three more left in there. They're bouncing around. Okay, we're gonna call that empty. Time. The AKM 47 emptied the hopper before this one even emptied three quarters of the hopper. Now, I believe that this is due to a flaw in the Surge gel blaster. For some reason, he had to keep shaking it every once in a while while he was holding the trigger down to get it to fire again. Welcome to the Judgment Session, FE Clan. I want you first to put your guess down below which one we rated the top gel blaster in all of America, and then we're gonna go ahead and tell you right now. So first of all, uh, I'm gonna have Osiris give you the numbers for the accuracy on the Surge and the AKM-47. So as far as accuracy goes, what number out of one through 10 did we give the AKM-47 for accuracy? Eight. Okay, and for the Surge? 10. As you can see guys, the Surge was more accurate. We believe it was more accurate because it has a mode button and you can select uh, semi-automatic. One thing I will mention also is that the Surge gel blasters, they feel uh, a lot tougher. They feel like better plastic. They just feel like a better, uh, more expensive build, even though they both cost around the same amount. Now, as far as pain level, we both got shot and we both felt the pain. We did these numbers together and they are also very close. As far as the AK-47, um, Osiris, what number did we give the AKM-47 for pain? 10. Now they both are really, really close. What pain level did we give the Surge Gel Blaster? 9. Because it didn't sting as much. Facts right there. All right, we're going to move on to the number um, that we chose for the distance. Now, because they both literally stopped at 56 feet, which is good for what they are for a 40 something dollar gel blaster. I mean, these things are shooting biodegradable gel beads, which are Ori's basically. And for something that does that to shoot 56 feet and still hit a target, that's amazing. Um, so we gave them both a 10. Now, last but not least, the firing rate. Which one of these emptied first? Now, you guys saw that the AKM-47 emptied first, so obviously we gave that a higher number, which is a 10. We gave the AKM-47 a 10 for firing rate because of its consistency. I think that's what this comes down to is literally the consistency of the firing. And so it was able to empty its hopper a lot quicker than the Surge Gel Blaster because it was consistent and I did not have to stop firing or shake it at any point to get the gel beads to come out. We gave the Surge Gel Blaster an 8 out of 10, and I'll let my son explain that one. I had to keep shaking it every, like, 10 seconds, and it just stops firing. Now, the total of those numbers, so close, all right? We are off by one, and the AKM-47 got a 38 with all of the numbers added together, the Surge Gel Blaster got a 37. The AKM-47 won by one point for America's best gel blaster. What do we come to? The conclusion. Basically, both of these gel blasters are safe buys. I've had the AKM-47 for several, several months now, and I've used it on a consistent basis, and I keep charging the battery, and it keeps holding the charge for the same amount of time. I mean, I can use that for hours and hours on end until the battery dies. And so it's been a great gel blaster, nothing has broken on it, nothing has stopped working. 
and and it's just amazing. The Surge Gel Blaster I've only had for a few months, maybe one or two months now. And so I guess that would be a couple of months. Um, and so I don't know as much as far as time goes with that one, how it's going to act, but I would assume that the Surge Gel Blaster is going to last. Thank you for watching. Make sure you watch this video right here and here and subscribe. We'll see you next time.